Mr. Market Chair, and today I'm going to be showing you how to log each message that you receive in Skype. Um, so this could be good for things like if someone deletes a message they don't want you to see, or you need some evidence or something like that. Uh, it's always good to log everything. Um, so in this case, I thought I'd show you it. So thank you to whoever commented that. And again, if you want something uh, that you want seen, then just leave a comment. And if I like the idea, then I'll get around to doing it. So getting in with the video now, um, I am going to be working in the project from the video previously. So if this is your first time watching to do this part, uh, you can just copy this piece of code here. All you'll need is to import Skype and make sure you connect to it and it should work fine. Because we want to use the message status for this too. So basically what we want to do is each time a message is received, we want to log it into a text file. And also you could probably log it into the visual design if you wanted as well. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. So we can just create another list box because this one is for our AFK. So we just make this a little bit bigger as it's going to be displaying messages. And we can also have it, uh, maybe let's have it optional again. So we can have another checkbox and we'll call this log messages like so and inside our code here um, we don't want to do it within this checkbox we want to come outside of it and say if checkbox to dot checked is equal to true then we want to log all the messages else we don't want to do nothing so inside here is where we want to we, well we want to write to this list box and we also want to write to our text file so list box to dot items dot add uh, what we can add in here is uh, we can start with the date so you, the date and time so you know when they sent you the message again if you need evidence and timestamps this is why I'm telling you how to write the date so you want to write date time dot now and now we'll get the time on your computer so um, so for some other people the time may be different for the messages but that's why and then dot too long time stream like so and then we want to add let's say we can add a colon after that and um, we want to add a space as we're adding c message dot sender dot handle so what I showed you yesterday that will the display the person who sent the message and we can also have another colon after that along with another space and we'll add c message dot body which will be the actual message so this is going to tell you the time that the message was sent who sent the message and then the message they sent and that well, this will be triggered each time a message is sent so let's say you receive 10 messages they'll display here so now that will be that working what you want to do is go ahead and uh, write to a text file so we can say well we need to give the file name so we can say dim file name as a string and that will be equal to directory uh, which I didn't create yet so we'll go ahead and create that in a second plus backslash log.txt and I'll just create directory because it's probably going to chuck yes it is so at the top of our code we just want to say dim directory as a string and that will be equal to my.application.info.directorypath so that will basically get the directory because we want to save the file where the exe is. So now we can say, uh, we, we're only going to use this if statement because the first time the program is run, the text file isn't going to exist unless you created it yourself, which I'm sure you probably didn't want to do. So we're going to check if it exists. If not, we're going to create it. Say so if system.io.file.exists and with the file we're going to check is our file name so we'll check that uh, and then if it does exist then we just want to write to it as usual else if it doesn't exist then we want to create a file and write to it as usual so we'll quickly write to that so what we want to do is create a object writer or a stream writer so we can write to it so we can say dim uh, let's call this o writer and that'll be as a new system dot io dot stream writer and we need to give this the file name that we want to write to 
and also the file mode which will be io.filemode.append and that will basically go down the line and stuff uh, so then after we've declared what file we want to write to we can say owriter dot write line and then obviously what we want to write in here is basically what we're displaying to our list box so we can just copy that part and paste that in there like that so that will write that to the text file every time a message is received um, I mean we could just do it at the end so when you close the program it will just read all the uh, lines within our list box and write that to the file um, or we can just write it each time which either way they work either way um, so you can do it whatever way you wish so we just want to finish our connection with that file after we've wrote to it so we can close that so now we need to actually create the file if it doesn't exist. Uh, the reason I'm not having no writer outside of the if statement and using it again is because we want to do things a little differently as we're creating the file. But we want to call it owriter again just so we don't get confused. And that'll be as an io.streamwriter. And then owriter is going to be equal to uh, io dot file dot create text and the name of that file is going to be the file name because we want to keep everything the same so it can read from it again uh, so once we create that file all we want to do is do what we already did above here so we can just copy that and put that there like so so that should be it fully working so we can give this a launch up um, the only problem is I didn't have someone to send me a message so I'll just quickly connect to my test Skype account. Let's open up Skype uh, and this one. So let me send the message. Actually, let me tick the message box first. I'll send the message. So you can see, once I sent the message test, it's told me that uh, 11:25, which it is. It told me I sent it, and it told me I sent tests, which is what we wanted. That's good. Now that might look a little bit messy how it is, you might want to organize that maybe a little better but for now that's just, I'm showing you how it works. So once you've done that, if we close that now, go into the directory, you see we've now got a text file called log and you can see it was last modified 11.25. So if we open that up, you'll see that it's basically displaying uh, what was said in the program in the text file too so you can log it all. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And don't forget to comment ideas that you want to see in the future. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you next time.